Jason here with Metal Mastermind and today's video is all about palm muting for beginner guitar players and this is a great video of course if you're just starting out or if you're just starting to play metal maybe you've been playing guitar for a while but you're jumping into the rock and metal scene here uh, or if you've been away from guitar for quite some time uh, as many folks I've talked to over the years who laid it down 20 30 some of them 40 years ago and you're just picking it back up again so what we're going to cover is again the fundamentals of palm muting what it is, I'm going to share some mistakes, some common things that sometimes won't produce the best sound for you, show you how to correct those, some easy ways to correct those, and I'm also going to give you some exercises. We have three exercises in this video that you and I are going to go through together. Now, at the end, I'm going to share some more tips with you that will hopefully help you go from that beginner to intermediate stage a lot faster okay so i'm gonna share that at the end but let's dig into palm muting what it is well it's exactly what it sounds like you are muting your strings with the palm of your hand now if you already know this you just bear with me because if you're brand new at this well maybe you haven't heard this yet so uh, i want to cover this though we're going to lay our palm the outer part of our palm across the bridge where the strings are going into the bridge of your guitar. That's where your palm is going to rest there, okay? And that's going to produce that nice chunky sound, which that's probably the sound that got you into metal and made you want to pick up guitar in the first place. I know that's what it was for me, but that's the sound right here. Now, a couple of pointers here. You don't want to press down too hard. If you do that, you're gonna get this sound instead. And I'll kind of go back and forth so you can hear the difference here, okay? You're gonna hear something like this. Now, that almost sounds cool, but I'm not trying to play the notes that you're hearing that sound like they're higher. What's happening here is I'm pressing down too hard on the strings. And, or if you're too far up away from the bridge here, okay, so if you got if you got the palm pressed down too hard, if you're too far up, what you're doing is bending the strings out of key. So you're gonna get, you know, a different sound. So if that's not the intent, well, you don't wanna do that. Now also, you might experience from time to time some string noise when you're palm muting. So I'll show, share an example of that. Now, two things I'm doing wrong, and I, I don't want to say wrong. Look, there, there are no rules in music. Any perceived rules, throw them out the window. Sometimes you make a mistake and it sounds cool. It's like, okay, well, I'm keeping that. But if that's not your intent, okay, and it's not in this case, uh, if that's not your intent, the two things that might be happening is, A, your palm may be too far off the bridge here, okay, behind it, okay, or... There's a couple things, a couple more things actually, or it's not down firm enough, right? So you're getting some extreme noise. Now, the other thing that could be happening is when you're palm muting, you're also kind of lightly palm muting there and you're going across multiple strings, hitting some strings that you're not intending to play. Okay, so we got all kind of noises there when we're playing that just now. So those are some things to keep in mind. Again, your intent for this specific lesson All right, we want that tight palm muted sound. So I hope those things kind of help you get over those humps. Now, another thing I'll mention is the palm muting, the placement of your palm, it might vary from guitar to guitar. I don't have this one plugged in, but this is a Telecaster here. So the bridge is obviously different. You can see that bridge looks like that. This has uh, got a lot of custom stuff done on it here. So my palm, yeah, it's gonna rest right here where the strings are going into the bridge. But look at the difference between these two guitars. This is an Ibanez uh, Prestige RG1570. It's got the Pro Edge trim on there. You see that compared to this guitar here. 
And it's not that the difference is extreme, but I only bring that up to say this, that you might have to just play around with your palm, where your palm is on that bridge when you play different guitars. You may find that to be the case, or you may not. I know I have the case with the telly between the telly and this guitar here, so it's worth noting. Now, let's go through a few exercises. I've got three exercises that I wanna go through with you. Now, I'll have the timestamp for these exercises in the description of the video, so you can always go back and go over these if you wanna go straight to each of those exercises. I'll also have the BPM for each exercise in case you wanna you know, do this along with your own drum track or click track or whatever. So let's get started on exercise number one. So that's just basic palm muting, okay? We're just palm muting that E power chord and then the A power chord, keeping things very, very simple. Sometimes the boring stuff, doing the boring stuff over and over is how you'll just get really good at that. And then you'll be able to expand further after that. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but you'll hear this from a lot of successful people, not just in guitar and music, but in business too. They just keep doing the same thing over and over, repetitive action, and just get really good with it. So I want you to go through this exercise, if you're new at this, to go through that specific exercise more and just get that down. Make sure your notes are just nice and tight and you're getting that really tight, chunky sound. On that note, no pun intended, we're gonna move on to the second exercise where we're gonna move around some power chords a little here. So let's go through that. So that was kind of a almost like a cool chromatic, could be like a death metal type thing there, old school death metal. But I wanted you to get used to moving around a little bit more. Uh, sometimes we have a tendency just to chug away on the lowest note possible as a metal guitar player. But I wanted you to just to move around a little more uh, throughout the fretboard. Not a lot up here, because again, this is more of a, a beginner's, you know, just getting started style video. But we're moving around with some power chords. I mean, we've got the B, we're going to a C, then B flat. We're doing that same movement over on the E and A strings, the F sharp, the G, the F. Again, that chromatic kind of death metal-y feel there, which is pretty cool. But that's a good exercise to practice. Now, what I didn't mention before is these exercises, I'm actually palm muting both of those notes, okay? We're palm muting both the notes of the power chord. So you don't have to do that. Uh, you gotta remember in music, there are no rules, okay? You can try whatever you want, and I encourage you to do that, okay? But I just want to share what we're doing in this specific exercise. And of course, you can already see that we're playing downstrokes as well. Uh, we'll talk about alternate picking in a second here. But let's go through the third exercise. We've got a little bit more movement. We're moving into some single note riffs here. So let's go through that now.
right, so a little bit more movement there, and I wanted you to get it used to, again, not only just palm muting on an open string or even power chords. I know we didn't play any power chords in this exercise, but we started bringing in those single notes, and if you notice, we palm muted those first couple of notes as well, those first few single notes, and then we didn't palm mute some other ones. I wanted to give you just a little contrast so you can kind of implement these in what I call a real world scenario. Because a lot of times in a, in a riff that you're writing or playing, it's not just going to be one technique the entire time. You're going to be combining techniques together, which leads me into some things that will really help you just kind of blast off from the beginner phase to the intermediate phase. And that's one of them. I want you to take this lesson or these three exercises we went through. I want you to add more stuff to them. The one we just went through, and I know you may be just starting out, but start adding some more notes to that. Even if it's just one more note or one more power chord, okay? Especially with that, that second lesson, that second exercise we did. Why don't you throw in another power chord? Maybe play it on a different place, on the fretboard. And don't worry about messing up, okay? This is you just expanding, just creating, coming up with something different, something unique that really just kind of fits you because this is coming from you, okay? And this to me is the number one step to going from beginner to intermediate a lot faster because now you're starting to create along with your learning process. So hopefully that makes sense. The other thing that I want to tell you is work on combining techniques together. I know we just kind of talked about that with, you know, palm muting some notes, not palm muting some, but now I'm talking about using power chords, using riffs, okay? We've got the downstrokes in there. We're expanding, you're playing throughout more places throughout the fretboard there. The other thing we didn't talk about in this lesson, and I'll save this for another video, is palm muting and alternate picking, okay? Now I do have a video on galloping and that involves alternate picking. So if you didn't see that video, I'll throw that up there. We also have a metal guitar course for beginners. So I've got a link in the description of this video for that. So do check that out if you're not in that course. And guys, I hope this helped. I'll see you on the next video. As always, create your own sound.